So here's the deal. We had an old industrial building in our company and I just decided I was tired of working in my small workshop. So So we just decided to buy some equipment and kind of go big time here. So I have to change my name now to the big workshop guy. So this is our uh, PCS cabinet uh, saw stop. We have our uh, second saw stop so we can keep dado blades on it while we keep our regular blades on the other one. Here we have a number of other uh, Devices. Those are uh, sanders, big belt sanders. Moving on down the line, you can see the size of our uh, dust collection system that we've put in the back. And uh, why we're not getting good focus, here's our Powermatic band saws. I like to keep uh, two different blades on them, so I have two of them. Uh, so I can, don't have to stop and change the blades. One of our uh, work tables. A few of our uh, clamps. Our second work table. Nice metal storage with locking cabinets underneath. A jet uh, drill press. Battery chargers that we've got all going. So, let's move around to the other part of the workshop. We have a, I have a cabinet for my drills and sanders and routers. Those are all clothes. I find it useful to have my aprons hanging up. And then a little clamp storage on the inside of the door. I've got some more clamps over here on a movable rack so I can move it around the shop. Got my different wood vices. Then we get over into the lathe section. So we got a number of our carving tools all up on the wall. I just got this set. Up, so if my grandson come in, they can have their own lathe. So as you can see, these are pretty good sized lathes. Again, dust collection system. The dust collection system goes up and over and then go to different parts of our workshop. You can see it becomes quite an octopus of the aluminum. Then one of our compound miter saws. Another one of our workbenches. I could. Yeah, I've got data and stuff all around it. This one is a. We have room for it, so we have our compound miter saws on really nice cabinets with uh, wheels, so they can be rolled wherever we need them and give us access in and out. Got a couple different blades, so we just have two compound miter saws with different blades on them. That way, we won't have to stop and change out the blades. Really nice uh, jointer. I'm very pleased with it. 
you can see the mechanism behind it in order to shut down the width. And then we have our uh, thickness planer over here. And Dutch collection wise, as you know, thickness planers are a problem, so that's all connected. <clears throat> we bought so much stuff from Powermatic that they uh, have given us a little banner to put up in our workshop. So here we got our new CNC router with our vacuum table. Boy, that vacuum is strong. So anyway, we're really enjoying doing that. Didn't have room for that in my small workshop. We've got our uh, Jet 2244 oscillating drum sander. You can see the quality of the uh, adjusting device for adjusting the height. Another one of our sanders. And then of course you have to have a spindle sander. And then we have our belt sander. So this is my new uh, drill press. It's a jet. I, I acquired it just last week. Got our uh, router table. All with the lifting router in it. Connected to the uh, dust collection system. And this is uh, my new metal working lathe. I picked it up, used just last week. One of several shop vacs. This is what I want So I got tired of sanding, so I bought this uh, sandblaster instead. Uh, so anyway, you, you stick your hands in these holes and you hold your piece and you just have it sandblasted away. So beat the heck out of sanding.